Hi guys, this video was sitting on my computer now for over a year. It was created in October of 2017. It's an art journal page I created with Happy Mail goodies I got from Sunny Kruse. I thought to share it with you anyway, even though it's been a long time. So, hope you enjoy. Good morning, everyone. Oops, my camera is shaking a bit, sorry. Uh, hi, this is Jopke and um, this morning I'm going to try and create something with the Happy Mail I got from Sunny Kruse. I already used up quite a bit of this uh, Happy Mail, so uh, I took a, a, a bit more out uh, that I had lying around, uh, some scraps and ephemera and vintage uh, papers and kind of stuff. So also, uh, I got these uh, homemade stencils uh, that uh, Sunny made. Let me see, maybe you can see it a bit better like this. It's the alphabet. And here are the numbers. So I'm probably going to use that. And today I'm working in this magazine, really. Uh, that I got in the mail once and the pages are quite thick so I thought this could work as a journal as well did two pages in this and today I'm going to work on this side um, quite like the stitches the back of the stitches on this um, which I had have applied on this page already did one coat of gesso I can see that but it didn't cover the background very well so uh, that's the first uh, thing that I'm going to do and that is uh, using gesso I'm going for the indigo blue G so good white gesso and I'm going to cover this page and uh, as you already know how that works I will show you a bit and then um, jump to the next step. Okay, so I've added another layer of gesso and you can still see the background. What I also did is using some masking tape for the middle here to uh, secure it a bit more and uh, while I'm at it I am thinking to do a bit more of the masking tape as well uh, I need to cover up uh, the background a bit although it is not that big of a deal if it doesn't completely um, disappear and I'm just doing a bit of this and this oh maybe I could do because I had another idea I have this it's an old uh, letter with uh, there was tape on this and I thought I could use that as well on my page and hopefully it will wrinkle a bit let me do that first, yes. So I'm using the art medium, that's the glue I am always using at least as long as my bottle of one liter will last. And I'm going to glue this down. And then I will go in with some more masking tape. Don't think about it, just don't think about it and just do. So for this, as I don't want it to be uh, quite stuck to the page, I'm using this and if the edges will curl up a bit that will be okay. Oh my gosh, this is about someone who died. Oh well. So 
So, just do it like this stick this down and make sure it's all going to dry nicely so be back in a second so first I'm going in with some more of the masking tape just tear it There is a hole in my page, so I will cover it up. And then I'm going to use the stencil I got from Sunny. And I think I will go for the letters or maybe the numbers. No, I'm going for the letters. And I'm using the Amsterdam uh, modeling paste for this. I find it a bit thin, but uh, a good tip would be to, um, you can thicken it up with baby powder, I have learned. So, um, let me see. I'm going to do a bit up here and I need to get rid of this. And I don't, I'm not looking for perfection, so it's not a problem if it leaks underneath. Really, really don't care about that. And it probably will, because this page is a bit uh, wonky, uh, wobbly. You see, it's not all that uh, crisp. But that doesn't matter. And next is using the Yet Black Station ink pad and just random. Um, letters really and just randomly put down some letters doesn't have to mean anything and an O 
well, you know the drill. I'm going on a little bit more and see you in the next step. Okay, so this is done and I have dried it a bit. Now I'm taking out the folder of Sunny's, um, with Sunny's Happy Mail and I'm going to pull everything out and see uh, what I'm going to use. Um, these are lovely and quite colorful, so really like that. Also, yep, I'm again drawn to flowers and the pink. I really like the contrast of this uh, bright and, and floral-like uh, images with those vintage papers. Also, black needs to go with this. So, these are lovely as well. I use these feathers in a mixed media morsel and there is this black lace that I also like a lot so I'm thinking for sure something with these two I could do this in the bottom here right here yeah let's do that and to uh, make sure Uh, I can tear it. I'm using a wet brush. Let me see. And just do this. So this will be very easy to tear. Can you see what I'm doing? So I have this. I can put this aside. And then I'm going to glue it down right here, but I need to uh, remove the tissue uh, paper first. And often there are two layers of that. So this is for sure one. And I'm not sure if there's another one. I believe there is. What you can do, you can wet your fingers and then, see, you can pull it away from each other. So there was another layer of tissue paper. You can hardly see it, but I was suspecting that there would be. So, you could use this for texture in another project, so I'm keeping this. And this is going down, I think, like this. Yep. Yeah. So maybe this flower needs to go. And if I do it now, I can save it for another project. So using the art medium again I'm sorry that I my arm blocks the view and um, so this will uh, be covered up but uh, because this is very thin some will show through Uh, and with the tissue paper you need to be uh, very careful with gluing it down because it's so thin you can easily tear it so very careful and you see all the letters the stamping uh, is coming through So you might think that all I did here underneath 
is a bit of a waste but it's not because even the the modeling paste of the alphabet is coming through. Let's so. see if I can do something with this as well. Um, I already pulled off um, the, the tissue paper here. I see a nice pattern here. Do. Going to do it here or here. And because there needs to be a bit of balance, of course, I'm going to use this piece. You see, it's much harder to tear when you don't uh, use a wet brush. I'm going to put this here. You don't have to. But I'm thinking to do that. So it goes the wrong way. I'm not feeling happy anymore. I don't know what to do. I just lost it completely. And my goal of do not think but just do is all out of the window because well I just don't know so gluing this down because I like this paper and because I feel this page just needs it But what to do next, I really don't know. So, yeah, although that wasn't the intention, I need to think about this. I just need it. Can't help it. Because, to be honest, I I like those butterflies, but I don't really like it here. So, then the next problem um, I struggle with a lot is what to be my focal point. So, kind of like this, but I don't think it's ready. yet so what to put on this and still don't know what I'm doing but I need to do something so I'm going to do this So I have this that I'm going to do here and I'm using the 
stapler from Tim Holtz. I'm not going to glue it down, but just staple it. Um, kind of here, I guess. So, and that's it. Next, I'm not sure it's a good thing, some splatter. And that's it. So I've been at it about all day and <laughs> this project totally failed because don't think, just do didn't work for me at all today and um, I was downstairs drinking coffee then I remembered I had these Tim Holtz ideology uh, ephemera bits and pieces so I started playing with that and what I have come up with is is this and like I said it doesn't mean anything uh, handle with care and this is about a hotel but I have to let that go because otherwise it uh, does, it won't happen at all so, let's do this and call it a day because I am done with this and I'm going to clear this away and just do that. Uh, what I can do is taking out let me see the coffee and uh, do a bit of um, a bit of smudging on the edges so it is okay I got these as well from Tim Holtz, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to do this, and I am using my Crea Patch glue. What I can do also is doing a bit of white splattering mainly here I like that like so and let me see if I'm going to do anything else but for now I need to let this dry okay and I have decided that this is it um, then I need to know the date which date is it today the 30th I believe I'm not sure, but Saturday it was the 28th, yeah, the 30th. I forgot to bring my phone, so let's say it's the 30th. And I'm going to put it up there. So uh, guys, this was a bit of a struggle. 
I do hope you have enjoyed watching this because struggles need to be uh, taped as well, right? I mean, um, sometimes it just is, is a bit harder and uh, that it doesn't work all that well. So this is going to be it with many thanks to Sunny Kruse um, because I did use her happy mail uh, in here this napkin and this napkin is very lovely I for sure I'm going to use it again um, yeah I'm quite happy with this you wouldn't say so but I am yes I'm quite happy with this so guys um, this was it for me today have a great day and see you again very soon bye